lights are off. Moy, you ready to go outside? Moy, you ready to go outside, buddy? Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 60 degrees.
Moi. Moi. Hey. You ready to go for a walk? Ready to go for a walk? Huh? You wanna go for a walk?
guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Hopefully it was a little bit of fun and not too boring. Nothing too exciting, but that's my typical day. So wake up around seven, get my coffee, let my dog Malloy out, play with him for a bit before I get going with my work. So after that, I come upstairs in my office and just check my email, check the dashboards. Our dashboards are just to monitor our applications that we have in our testing environment and also that we have in our production environment. So we need to keep an eye on those applications to make sure they're healthy. And if there's any errors or anything that come up, we need to quickly troubleshoot those and resolve them fast. So after I check email and the dashboard, then I usually have a couple meetings. One of them is typically stand up. So stand up is pretty common. It's just where you meet with your team and you discuss what you're working on and if you have any issues or maybe if you just have some information that you wanna share with your team. So sometimes uh, if I don't have too many meetings, I'll be able to jump right into my coding task for the week. So we have sprints. So our team does one week sprints. We usually get a few tasks each week that we need to complete by the end of the sprint. So usually I'll try to start working on one of the tasks that I'm assigned and try to get a little work done before lunch. After I take my lunch, usually I might have a meeting or two after that. And then I'll be diving back into coding, trying to complete some of my tasks that I have for that sprint. So I'd say typical, my day is probably about 30% coding. Um, a big chunk of that is gonna be meetings and responding to issues and emails and monitoring our applications that are in the test and the production environment. So the team I work for primarily uses Java and Spring for the languages and the primary framework. We also work with SQL for our database on the back end, And we work with a lot of other different technologies since we're considered full stack engineer. So a typical day, we will be doing DevOps, back end, middle, maybe a little bit of front end. Just like a lot of other companies, we are using AWS. A lot of companies are moving to the cloud. AWS offers a lot of different services. So we're constantly trying to implement new services that AWS offers. Again, we do a lot of DevOps, which would be working with our pipelines and continuous integration and continuous deployment. So our applications need to be deployed in the cloud using things like Docker to build the images and Kubernetes to orchestrate and deploy those applications. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully that wasn't too boring to watch and I might've answered some questions for any aspiring software engineers out there. Thanks for watching.